Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to do a collaboration with Christmas Around the World that CJ has put on, and I'll tell you more about it later on. I thrifted this little frying pan from somewhere in my travels, and we're going to do a little thrift flip with it and make it into some Christmas decor. I gave it a good wash, and it's still kind of nasty, but I decided to take my jute rope and just go around, starting in the middle, and go around and around and around, and make it look like a really cool jute circle that uh, is in the middle of this frying pan. And I go all the way to the edges as far as I can go. I think this looks really cool. I really like the look of it. You're not going to be able to see the whole thing, but you are going to be able to see some of it. So I wanted to uh, do something really neat here in the middle of this. So once I go all around that, I'm going to take a little bit of my folk art black paint and, sorry, not black paint. It's the wrought iron paint that is from folk art. But I'm going to take this and it's so it's a, like a a blue gray kind of color and I'm gonna paint the whole frying pan I just couldn't get it really all totally clean and I wanted it to look really nice and new and clean so we're going to give it two coats and then I just use my heat gun to dry this up I flipped it over and I'm just doing a little bit around the edges and in the corners. I probably should have done this before I put the rope on, but of course I didn't think of doing it then. But I just touched it up anyway. And then gave it a quick spray with my Rust-Oleum Clear Sealer just to keep it so it doesn't chip off. Now I took a piece of some greenery, some garland, that I had and I am just wrapping it around in a circle around my little frying pan. I'm taking some of my floral wire. It's really easy to work with so I like to use it. Plus it's green so you won't be able to see it. Um, and I'm just just wrapping it around the handle and tying it really well so that it won't flop around and uh, or fall off. And of course with uh, any garland or anything floral that you're working with, you're always fluffing, 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 fluffing. I was gifted this cute little doorknob uh, cover. It's a little teddy bear with the Santa hat. And I decided that I was going to put him on this wreath. I thought he would look so cute. So I'm just taking some hot glue and I'm gluing that on and hoping that that will stay. I just held him on until he dried and then I added some extra glue in the back just to make sure that that would stay. So as you can see where I put that rope, uh, you can't see the whole thing, but you can see it in behind there. So I, I'm glad that I put that on. I think that looks really cute. I have these red berries. I've had these in my stash forever. I got a big garland of them and I think I still have a ton of them. So I use them every so often in my Christmas decor. So I'm just pulling them apart and winding them together and I'm going to add these to my wreath. So I wanted to tell you about the Christmas Around the World collaboration. CJ has put this on and several other channels have joined this collaboration and they're wonderful channels all of them so if you're looking for christmas inspiration and ideas please go down and check that out in my description box i didn't get video of it but i did add some really pretty pine cones around the edges as well to decorate it up and you will see that in the end result So of course this Christmas decor wouldn't be finished without a really cute bow to put on the top. So I have some red and black ribbon and I'm just making a little crisscross bow with them and I'm going to 
secure it in the middle with more of my uh, green floral wire and I'm going to tie that really tight and I leave the ends in the back a little bit long so that I can wrap those around my handle at the top and that will secure that on there. going to add a little timer taper candle and in the back where behind the little teddy bear head and that will light it up nicely and I think this came out so cute. I have this really cool heavy duty rolling pin that again I thrifted somewhere in my travels and I wanted to uh, do something with the handles to make them look a little bit distressed and aged. I did one in green at one point and put that in my booth and it sold right off so I wanted to do another one. So I'm taking some of the Waverly Crimson uh, it's a pinkish red color and I'm just putting that all over the en both ends of this rolling pin. The cool thing about the Waverly paint is it's chalk paint and it comes off just by being activated with water. So I have a paper towel that is damp and I'm just wiping it and it's the color is coming right off where I want it and it's just making it look distressed and like it's been used. I'm taking a little bit of this uh, gray-brown glaze that I have and I'm wiping that on and then I'm just going to uh, let it sit for a second and then I'll wipe it back and that'll just make it look again a little more aged and distressed. I was looking around in my stash recently to see if I could find anything that I could marry or put together. So marrying products is taking two that do not belong together normally and putting them together and making them look like they always were supposed to be. So this really cute teapot is says it's from Italy and then this really cool plate. Both of them don't go together but we're going to make them go together. I have this really pretty, very sparkly Christmas tree or a little tree, bottle brush tree that I got from Dollar Tree. And I wanted to make a simple decor for somebody that likes kind of the farmhouse light colors and not into the traditional red, green, or and gold. So I uh, put these two pieces together and popped that tree in there and I think it looks really cute. Here's another simple marriage that I made recently with a little stand. I saw the stand and I thought it was so cute so I grabbed this up and I decided to look around to find something that would fit in those little round holes and I found these beautiful beautiful plates. They are uh, kind of engraved, they're bumpy and they were only a dollar so I got three of those 
to go in each of those little sections and I think it looks beautiful. This would be great for any holiday or just any day that you want to make some cookies or cupcakes and pop them right in there. This will work anytime. So I was so happy to find these. So of course you have to deal with stickers when you purchase things anywhere that you go. So I just heat them up with my heat gun and then I can peel them off fairly easily, give it a quick cleanup, and then they will be all done. I hope you guys enjoyed my projects today. Let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite. Don't forget to look down in the description for the link to the rest of the cat collaboration and all the other wonderful channels involved. Have a great day.